Welcome back to Lady Lioness and Friends. I'm Lady Lioness. Um, I'm a white woman wearing glasses, a black Wonder Woman shirt, uh, sleeveless shirt, my lively device around my neck. Um, I, I have an American flag to my right, a Earth flag to my left, and let's get started on this unboxing. I know this has been a long time coming. I kept teasing it, and um, yeah, so the boxes have built up. Uh, there's a little bit of a haul, too. Um, if you have some haul items that I wasn't able to get to uh, on previous videos, and the, most of this stuff I bought more than a month ago. So, anyway, let's get started. There's a few things that I opened. Um, actually, let's get to the stuff that, that's haul, which um, I purchased myself. So, I got this at a local gift shop. Look at that. Big old He-Man uh, car cardboard cutout. Um, I have not opened this yet. Um, I want to get some staple. I want to open that real gently. I don't want to rip anything, but that's really cool. I was very excited. I don't know. It's not full size, but it's a good size He-Man. I'm super, super excited to get that open and put that up on my wall somewhere. I have to find, I have to make room. My wall's kind of pretty covered. And at the same gift shop, I got... Woo! Dropping things now. I love this. A Doctor Who tie with TARDIS on it. I haven't worn it yet. But check that out. That's pretty darn cool. Love it. And, of course, you know I love my t-shirts. Check this out. I got a t-shirt with, with, I've got with the He-Man Power Sword on it. It's got, um, the, uh, the sword from, uh, Game of Thrones down the center here, um, with the wolf head on it. And then on this side, it's got a, a lightsaber. <laughs> and on the bottom, it looks like another lightsaber, so... The only thing that would make this shirt more perfect to me is if it had Lion-O's sword from Thundercats. That's the only thing that's missing for me. I think that instead of another thing, they should have had Lion-O's sword, or maybe Lion-O's sword right here, and then the, the, um, the, uh, uh, lightsaber down at the bottom, but, um, and then, of course, it's got the writing from the ring on the Lord of the Rings around the center. So this is a pretty darn cool shirt that hits a lot of geekness <laughs> right there. So that's pretty awesome. I love that shirt. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, so that was part of that haul. And then I have, oh, 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 oh. I love this so much. This this uh, was part of a, an unboxing that I couldn't wait to open. I had to open it to look at it. This is a huge, look at this book. This is a huge book, The Art of He-Man and Masters of the Universe. And it is just gorgeous. I haven't even gotten halfway through it. But the art in here, it shows the original concept art. Um, it just, just beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, eventually it gets to the box art from the toys. Like, you know, oh my gosh, blah, all this is still all concept art. But, um, you know, and then it shows, you know, the actual toys in it. And then, yeah, just, oh, hold on, I gotta show you some of the concept art. Like, or, or these, this is the box art from, uh, Castle Grayskull, you know, and, uh, here's the one from Snake Mountain. I mean, it is just, it's so cool. I have, I, I've got to take my time to go through this one. This one I've wanted for such a long time. I finally got the chance to order it and and open it up. And, oh, I'm going to treasure this one. This is, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Woohoo! Okay, we got some more E-Man stuff here. Hold on one second. Let me reach for it here. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. I opened these as well because I just couldn't wait. And I can't remember if I showed you this one or not. My Savage He-Man. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But anyway, I've, I've got him opened up and set up in, a, in display mode. Uh, he also came with Orko, but I just wanted to display Savage He-Man by himself. I'm going to put him up with my King Grey Skull that I think I've already shown you. 
And then I also got Faker, and Faker comes with a number of different heads and hands and stuff like that, but I liked this one best, because that's the one that, you know, that shows on the show and looks more like Faker. I don't, I didn't really like the head that came, um, that was part He-Man, part Faker head. I didn't like it, so anyway, I went with that head. And, uh, so, I'm just, uh, I've just been, uh, playing with those and putting them on display mode in their boxes, and that's been really fun. Okay, um, I forgot to bring something to open the boxes with, so let me get that. I'll put you on pause here, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, here we go. We got my little cutter here, and let's open this one first. This one's not really a big deal, but we're going to open it anyway, because it's been sitting here. Let's see, we've so far. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, it's a box inside of a bag. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what this one is because we're not going to open it all the way. This is just a, a filter for my Blue Air uh, air purifier. Um, they send me the, these twice a year. So it's time to change my air purifier filter. That's good. All right, let's get to these Target boxes here. Woohoo! Love my Target. You know I do. It'd be great if I could get Target sponsorship. We'll see what I can do. But here we go. Okay. Woo. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, so <laughs> I had to order a new pepper spray uh, because when I went on my trip, I had a pepper spray. It was a bright pink one for, you know, because it was for, I guess, like, um, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month or something. And I forgot when I went to the airport that to take the pepper spray off my keychain. And so I had no choice but to throw it away when I got to the security thing. So I got myself a new pepper spray, and this one's purple, my favorite color. I love it. All right, so there's that one. Oh, it feels like Christmas. Well, this is good. This feels sort of like birthday, even though I know what all this stuff is. But, And then I got the Pride Pack for my Cards Against Humanity. Um, let's open it up and see what some of these say. Uh, for those of you that are fans of uh, Cards Against Humanity. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my. This is harder to open than I thought. We'll go from this side. This takes too long, I'll just skip it, but... Oh my goodness, I'm getting weak. There we go, okay. My muscular dystrophy does make me weak, I just didn't think it made me so weak I couldn't open a package of cards. Woo. Goodness sake, okay. Here we go, Cards Against Humanity, your typical white and black. Um, I don't know if I want to read these online. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, here's one I can read. Whatever straight people do for fun. That's an answer. Okay. A Subaru. <laughs> if you're gay, you probably understand these answers, but uh, maybe some straight people don't. Uh, ooh, nope. C uh, repeatedly coming out as bisexual. <laughs> uh, 30... Shirtless bears emerging from the fog. Those cheekbones, honey. Oh. Oh. What? Mm. Yeah, I can't read some of these on <laughs> online. Or I won't, anyway. A six-hour conversation on gender and queer theory. How many of you have all been on that? <laughs> I know I have. Uh, oh. Ooh, some of these are pretty racy. I mean, I mean, like sexy racy. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, all the different kinds of lesbians. Yep. <laughs> what? What? Whoa. Okay. Most of these I can't read. Um. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Martha P. Johnson, the trans woman of color. Who may have thrown the first brick at Stonewall? Woo! Martha B. Johnson! Woo! 
A twink in a bounce house. <laughs> that makes that makes me picture all kinds of funny things. I'm picturing um, a, a skinny little twink in a uh, like a tutu in a bouncy house, jumping up and down. This is cute. Anyway, we're here. We're blank. We're get used to it. These are these are the question parts. Yes, you're serving me realness. Blank realness. God hates blank. Excuse me, straight man, but blank isn't straight for isn't for you, straight man. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love blank? Okay, the questions were a lot easier to read than some of the answers. You'll just have to get the pride pack for yourself to find out why I couldn't read some of those. I could read them, but I don't want to, because they were, oof, oof, my mom would be really embarrassed. Okay, anyway, all right, the pride pack from Cards Against Humanity. Okay, that's that box. Whee! All right, next box. Now let's get these other boxes. These aren't Target boxes. There's two of these. I'm just going to open one, because, again, they're not a great big deal. The, this was donated to me from the community center. There's two boxes of these. I just want to take a look and see what they look like. Okay, it is boxes of hand sanitizer. The community center got so many boxes of hand sanitizer, they don't know what to do with them, so they pushed a couple of them off onto me, which is fine, because I think we can use them here at the, at the group home. So there are two boxes of that. And then, okay, here's one more, another Target box. Let's open this one. I'm trying to remember what this one is. It's been a while since I ordered this guy. I don't really remember. What did I order in that? I forgot I ordered this. This was kind of a birthday surprise for me. Woohoo! I got myself Skeletor! That's a good looking Skeletor. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this without too much shot, too much reflection on it here. Yeah, let's open him up. Let's open up Skeletor, shall we? Didn't get beat up at all. The the outer box is really beat up, but this one just a slight corner on this edge. But see what I mean about the art from Master of the Universe? They're continuing that tradition, and I love it. I've always loved the art on it. I used to get when I was a kid. I used to get this uh, He-Man magazine that would just be, it would have a, a poster or two in every issue, these, you know, big fold-up posters that you put on your wall, and it was, you know, that type of art. It was just lovely and amazing. I wish I still had those magazines, but I don't. I wish I'd still have the posters. Here we go. Let's take a look at Skeletor here. He's packaged quite differently from from the other ones that I've gotten. Let's see. I didn't think I was going to collect so many of these uh, these Revelation care, uh, toys, but boy, I've really, really enjoyed them. Come here, Skeletor. I haven't decided if I'm going to get uh, Skeletor or not, but this, this is a cool Skeletor. Oh, yeah. He doesn't come with any extra heads, but he has a couple extra hands, like the, these two are grasping hands, and then he also comes with hands that are open, so like when he's doing spells or something, right there. Comes with the shaping staff, so if you watch He-Man, you know what the shaping staff is. Here's his Havoc staff, which is what I'll probably display him with the Havoc staff. Probably have the Havoc staff in one hand, and I'll probably do one of the open, open hands in the other, doing a spell. That's pretty darn cool. Wow, that Havoc staff is really creepy looking. Can you see this? That's a really well done sculpt. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I'll have to play more with Skeletor later. The, that was a nice surprise. I I couldn't remember what the other thing I ordered was. And there you go, because I thought, because I ordered the He-Man book, I didn't get a figure, so 
I try to limit myself to one He-Man thing every time I shop, because otherwise I'd just go crazy and buy the whole set. And while Target may love that, not good on the pocketbook. So I'm doing these one at a time. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Um, so this other thing I don't think I'm going to actually open, but I will show you. I also got it at Target. This one was part of a Target haul rather than a... Uh, let's see. This here. I got this little, this cart. You can see Venus, the, the, Venus has been tearing up this box. She's been, she loves to chew on cardboard. So, but anyway, I got a cart because... I have to take things back and forth to my car, and especially if I'm in my wheelchair, sometimes I can't carry everything. So i got a cart that I can push in front of my wheelchair uh, while I'm going to and from my car, and it, it can help me bring in groceries or whatever. So I, I thought that was a good, a good deal for me. And it's been sitting in this box for a very long time, and I haven't put it together yet. I'll have to make a project of that. And then I have one more box. I'm not going to show it because it's huge. It's a big box. I bought myself a big canopy. All the summer stuff is like really on sale. <coughs> and so I found a deeply discounted big canopy thing. I mean, it was a steal. I could not believe how low the price was on that. Uh, it was something like 75% off. And that was a really, really good deal. <laughs> and so <coughs> anyway, I got this cool canopy thing that I can either put up now and enjoy for the rest of the summer or... Um, possibly just keep it for when I um, get a, get another place or something where I have a yard or, or whatever. So, um, you know, I have to ask permission to put it up here at the group home, so I haven't asked that yet, but I thought I'd buy it anyway. It was just such a good deal. So, let's see, that was our unboxing. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight about 9, 10, it was 11 pieces that I, 11 pieces, all right, we had an 11 piece boxing and, and, uh, and haul there, I think that was right, you can go back and watch the video again and count, I don't really care, anyway, um, so that was fun, yeah, that was, for, that was really fun, I can't wait to go play with that Skeletor and, and look at my He-Man book, I'm just very, very excited about that, so thank you for joining me for this unboxing, I love you all, Take care of yourself, and, you know, I recently lost a nephew. Go hug your family. Hug your kids, hug your mom, your dad, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles. Hug them all. Cousins. You know, don't take your family for granted, because you never know when you're going to lose one, even at a very young age. So, I love you all. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'll see you next time. Mwah.